Now for this question, we're asked to find the integral then of 5 divided by x minus 1 times 3x plus 2. And to do this, what I'd normally want to do is just change this into partial fractions. But it just so happens that in the previous question, we did find out what 5 over x minus 1 times 3x plus 2 was when it was expressed in partial fractions. So what we can do then is cut out that step and just say that this is equal to the integral of each of these two terms with respect to x. So we've got first of all the integral of 1 over x minus 1 with respect to x and then we've got minus the integral of 3 over 3x plus 2 with respect to x. Now when I get something like this to integrate, being a fraction, I'd want to check to see whether differentiating the denominator gives me what's in the numerator. And it does. If I differentiate x minus 1 with respect to x, I just get 1, and that's in the numerator. And why does this interest me? Well, because we should be familiar with this result, that if you've got an integral where you've got some function of x in the denominator and you're integrating it with respect to x, and if you differentiate the denominator here and get the numerator, f dash x, then this is equal to the natural log of the mod of f of x, okay? Plus a constant of integration, plus c. So it's this that I notice here, and I also notice it in this one, because when I differentiate the denominator, 3x plus 2, I just simply get 3, and that's the value in the numerator. So when it comes to integrating each of these, then for the first one, it becomes the natural log of just the denominator, the mod of x minus 1. And then for this second term, it's going to be minus the natural log of the mod of 3x plus 2. And don't forget the constant of integration, which I'm going to call plus c. Now you could leave it like that, or you could use the subtraction rule for natural logs, or logs for that matter, where if you've got the log of one value minus the log of another, it is simply the log of this divided by this. So in other words, we get the natural log of the mod of x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 2. And you could put that in a mod there and say plus c. So there you go. That's how I would integrate anyway our fraction here.